Sometimes in life we have to be alone. There's no one coming to encourage us or to be there for us when we really need it. And while we are walking on this journey alone, we can either choose to stay on the right path and go around and be kind to ourselves and speak positive words over our life. Or just like this road here, we can go straight and be off path and say negative things to ourselves. Well, I used to be the one that go straight and get off path and go all into, run into the fence several times. But there became a time when I had to choose to stay on the right path and today, this is what I'm talking about, how I chose to be kind to myself. Come on this walk with me because I'm going to teach you some steps that I took to get out of my own way. These are not steps that I have not had to fight for myself. These are not steps that somebody took for me. No one came to save the day for me. These are steps that I had to take even when I had people who wanted to help me, who wanted to fight the battle for me. After <laughs> four or five years, I realized I was gonna have to fight this battle myself. So these are some thoughts that I used to think to myself that I no longer allow myself to even think about. I don't even give myself an inch. <laughs> I used to tell myself, why do you even deserve to have anybody love you? you don't, you're not even smart enough to have that conversation with those people, so why do you think that they would wanna talk to you? These are some things that I used to tell myself and they are absolutely ridiculous. The way that we beat ourselves down when no one is looking, when no one can hear our thoughts. We think that we're not hurting anyone else because we're not saying it to anyone, we're just doing it to ourselves. But let me just tell you, you are. Our lives are connected to other people. We cannot continue to believe that just because no, we're not saying it to anyone else, it's just to ourselves, that it's not gonna hurt anyone because our, our purpose is connected to other people. We have to be healthy mentally and physically to be able to thrive and do the, do the things that God has called us to do while we're on this side of earth. If you haven't watched the video that I did the other day, that would be a great place to start because I, I tell you guys exactly what I dealt with. In this video, I'm telling you guys how I overcame it. Here's three things I did to stop telling myself those silly things or things that are not true because there's absolutely no way that I would tell myself those negative things today. Absolutely no way. When you start telling yourself negative things, number one, pick up your Bible and start replacing your negative thoughts with the Word of God. It is, pow it is powerful. So our words that we speak, they're powerful too. If we are telling ourselves that we can't do it, we are constantly being mean to ourselves, we're gonna believe what we tell ourselves. So if we choose to replace it with the word of God, which is life, speaking life into ourselves, we can start to learn to live a different way. For an example, the Bible tells us that we are beautifully and wonderfully made. I'll put that Bible verse on the screen because I can't remember where it comes from, but that's, that's the part that I remember. So if he is telling me that I am beautifully and wonderfully made, I'm going to believe it. I'm not going to call myself ugly. I'm going to love every part of myself. I'm going to love my hair. I'm going to love my smile and my teeth. I'm going to love my whole body. There is nothing about me that is ugly. I am beautiful. That's what I want you to start telling yourself. Here's the next thing is when people are upset, don't let it make you upset can learn how to manage your emotions. And here's one thing that you can do while you're by yourself, okay? If someone is stressing you out, you need to set up some boundaries. I started to set some boundaries and I was the one who was saying no to, to myself and saying yes to everybody else. No matter if it meant that it would make me upset, if it would make me mad, I wanted to please people so bad that I said yes to everything. 
I wanted people to feel like that I was the one that they can come to. And this is what about drove me crazy, okay? It did. I had to learn how to say no. I had to learn to accept that I can't help everyone. And I had to learn how to love on myself. Because when we set boundaries, it not only helps us stay mentally healthy, but it also shows other people how to set boundaries in their life. It's not being mean. It's not being, you know, we're not saying that we don't love them. We have to set healthy boundaries in our space so that we can help others. Because if we are not mentally healthy, then we can't be any good for what God has called us to be. So I want you to start setting some boundaries in your life. If they get upset about you setting a healthy boundary in your life, then that's not your problem. Do not take on their emotion. Learn how to manage your own emotions. And you can say, well, if you are feeling like you're getting mad from them being upset, ask yourself why. Why am I getting upset just because they are upset? I have my own mind, I have my own thoughts. I can choose to be grateful in this situation. To take yourself on the, it is possible on a scale to, from one to 10, to not live on an eight or a 10 every day, all day. It is possible. Just check yourself throughout the day. If you are feeling yourself being tense constantly, you are on the edge constantly, you are mad constantly, figure out how to bring yourself down to a number five or four so that when something does happen, you don't snap on somebody and you don't go off the cliff and start cussing and start doing all of this other stuff. Because most of the times we are living a tense life. We are having our jaws clenched and we are upset about the smallest things. So find ways to, to soothe yourself and calm yourself down during the day so that you can go through your day without going on a roller coaster. I used to live this roller coaster life of emotions. If somebody stepped on my toe, ugh, I'm mad. Small thing. If somebody looked at me the wrong way, I was upset and worried. And, and how do they feel? Did I make them upset? Am I, I'm all this and, and I'm all riled up now. I learned that we make these facial expressions that we're not even aware of most of the time. So when somebody looks at you the wrong way, 90% of the time, it probably has absolutely nothing to do with us, nothing to do with you. I would suggest not jump to the worst case scenario every time that somebody looks at you the wrong way or somebody doesn't call you back or text you immediately. Learn how to manage your emotions in a way to where you can thrive. And I mean thrive in a way that you are living your purpose on this side of heaven. The last thing is, is when I felt jealous of someone, I started comparing myself. This is what I do immediately now. I no longer allow myself to be jealous of someone in my head. If I see somebody doing better than I am, or if I see somebody doing something that I would love, absolutely love to do, I immediately tell them, great job. I know you are killing it. Girl, I can't, but I can't, I am so proud of you. I'm clapping for you. I no longer allow myself to think toxic thoughts because our mental health is connected to our physical health. They are not separate. So when we are mentally ill, if you will, always upset, sad, it's going to show up somewhere in our lifestyle. It's going to show up with the stomach ache. It's going to show up with the headache. Our bodies just can't handle the mental pressure. So it has to show up somewhere in our bodies. And so I believe that a lot of my mental issues caused me to be sick. I believe a lot of my issues when I was sick was because of the way that I was thinking. Yes, I became sick when I had my daughter and a lot of it was food related, not eating healthy enough. And so that's another thing that can cause us to, you know, feel a certain way and go down, have all these sad spirals and, and all of these things. Check the food that you're eating. If you are eating junk all the time, you're not going to feel so great. But if you eat healthy, you eat things that are going to give your body the nutrients and the vitamins that it needs, your mind will start to thank you. 
your body will start to thank you. Can I get an amen, somebody? <laughs> I used to hate eat. I used to hate eating healthy, but once I realized um, how when I eat healthy, I feel better mentally. I can handle the task and during the day better. And I taught during my time that I was sick. I taught myself about food, nutrition. I I taught myself about how mental health is connected to the physical. Our, our health of the body. I started to teach myself these things and I'm passionate about it now. I am passionate about girls figuring out how they their food can help their menstrual cycles. I'll make a video on that as well. If you want to learn about how you can help your cramps every month, then put <laughs> put a yes or a heart down below so that I know that this is something that you're interested in. All right, guys. Those are the three things that I did to help break the cycle of getting of of telling myself all of these negative things and getting out of my own way. Please share this video with somebody, give this video a like and yeah, leave a comment on how this video has helped you or what you are at what you are doing to get out of your own way. I believe that you can do it and i believe that you can actually fight this battle with strength of the lord <laughs> okay all right guys i will see you next time i love you and see ya